Any student that comes to Duke is going to feel at least initially overwhelmed by all of the options that are available. And that's part of what makes Duke an amazing place. But certainly it can make it challenging initially to figure out how to get involved, what you want to get involved in. I have so many just interdisciplinary interests that were pulling me into so many different directions. And sometimes that felt really paralyzing. Like there was some sort of right or perfect path for me to take. And I was scared of choosing the wrong one. For a lot of students, anxiety is, there's so many research opportunities, but I don't even know the basic 101. So how am I supposed to even figure out what research I want to do? I would encourage you to consider what your passion is and then how to act on that, but to do so in a, in a low stakes way. One thing I really encourage students to do, especially first years, is to look at things that spark your curiosity, but you genuinely don't think you know anything about. The very act of embracing something new and something weird and something strange leads them into a place of joy, a place of interest, and maybe a place of expertise too. Use the first two years before you have to declare a major to really investigate. And if it is what you thought it was, if it's richer than you thought it was, do another course there. Each thing that you try teaches you something different, and often you discover who you want to be, what you want to do, through kind of pulling together these varied experiences that you have. What was helpful to me was to realize I can go in and out and dip into lots of different fields, and I think that that is something that was really important and valuable. Once you begin to really understand the genesis of your own curiosity, that's where the university really opens up to you. The path of research is not necessarily a linear one. Some students are going to be involved right away, and other students are going to become involved later on in their Duke career as juniors and seniors. There are going to be opportunities long-term, short-term, fall, spring, summer, for students to get involved in research. So breathe and take time to make choices in a way that align with your priorities, your values, and your interests. Don't be stressed out if you don't do anything after your freshman year. Follow your own path and don't compare yourself to what others are doing. Do what interests you and just be good at what interests you and it will really take you to where you need to go. Even in one semester, you can have a meaningful experience that can teach you some things about how to be a researcher, about how to ask interesting questions. So it's never too early and it's never too late. Trying your hand at research of any particular kind is a way to turn from just being a student who absorbs knowledge to someone who might create it. You might create something very small, but it's meaningful because you've made that transformation. You don't have to know what you are going to do in life. You just have to think about your, what your singular next step is going to be. And that next step should be something that scares you a little bit and excites you a little bit. When you find an opportunity to go after something that you're interested in, go after it without any expectation of commitment. 